Hey guys, it's Marissa, and today's video is going to be reading my old diary about an ex-boyfriend. Dun dun dun! And I already did another reading my old diary, but I decided to read my- this is more like a journal notebook. It's like a breakup journal. I don't know what to call it, but this was about- <laughs> I, I wrote all this stuff when I was sad about a breakup, so don't listen to me guys. Don't listen to depressing Marissa. <laughs> but I thought I would read it for you guys just because I know you guys like my personal videos. And please give this video a thumbs up if you guys like these kind of personal videos because I'll definitely- I can definitely do more and it just means so much to me that you guys support me and mwah, and subscribe if you're not already. Dear Marissa, and for some reason I always started all of my like diaries with Dear Marissa. Like I would I would write them to myself because it was like I assumed no one else would ever read them. I assumed I never assumed that I would be making a YouTube video about them, so I always referred to like Dear as Dear Marissa. Today you're feeling hurt. Your boyfriend of almost a year broke up with you last night, or rather is taking a break, which is basically the same thing. I guess the most confusing, I think I meant to say confusing, part was how out of nowhere it was. I mean, 72 hours earlier, he was kissing me in his front yard and was dropping me off at my home from a weekend that we spent with his family. I guess things don't always work out as planned and we just have to try to make the best of it. One thing's for certain though, I want someone who's going to fight for me to be in their life, not someone who's going to spend day and night trying to get me out of theirs. Woo! Parich, girl! I was amazed at how, like, how much insight I had as a little girl. That's just, that, that, I just, I don't even know what to say about that. This is from a couple days later. Any guy would be lucky to have you. You're a strong, beautiful, confident, smart, amazing person, and people who can't see that have their own separate issues. Oh my god! Oh, baby Marissa was so sweet. I love you, baby Marissa. Mwah. Uh, don't ever stop letting your light shine through and don't ever doubt your worth as a person for one second. Oh, I love, I love me. I'm so happy. Today was just a single text from him at 11.09 a.m. As you can see, I was very familiar with the time. All it said was, are we not speaking anymore? Hopefully my silence was answer enough. The more I think about the whole situation, the angrier I get. How dare you break my heart over the phone and then reach out to me and pretend that you care? Today he went to beeps party or whatever. I'm sure he had a marvelous time with beep. I hope they dance together and kiss each other. I effing hate them both. And it's cute how I used to write effing like I was too scared to cuss. Okay, this was a couple days later. I think that the best thing for me right now is just to forget about him. Maybe I'll go to a hypnotist and forget all about him. Even though it will probably cost a lot of money, I'm sure it will be worth it. Can y'all believe that I was literally, I literally want to go to a hypnos, hypnotist, hypnosis, I don't know what they're called, but I wanted to literally get brainwashed so that I wouldn't remember who he was. Isn't that crazy? Oh my God, you guys, don't listen to baby Marissa. She's so sad. She doesn't know anything. This was just written when I was really sad and like I had just freshly like been like horribly mistreated in a relationship. So it's like, obviously I'm gonna, obviously I'm gonna be feeling some type of way, but seriously, like I almost wanna cry because it's just so, I'm not even like sad reading it. It's just like, it's, it's sad making me think how sad I was about everything, but don't listen to me y'all. Like I, I believe in love, I believe in miracles. He's never appreciated me and has never known what it's meant to be a good boyfriend. He's been a terrible boyfriend for the last six months and I'm finally starting to see his true colors and view the relationship for what it was. Oh my god, oh my god, finally, finally, a happy entry. I'm so excited, okay. Ahem. Yes, it's sad when someone abruptly leaves your life, but it can also be the start of a new beginning. Oh, happy Marissa coming back. Life isn't perfect, neither are people. Relationships end, lives end, but it's important that we don't let our spirits and positive outlook on life end. Oh my God, y'all, I am like a combination of Oprah and Dr. Phil right now. Seriously, I am like, I was a wise child. I would get, I would have my moments where I get depressed, but ultimately I'm happy. I will remind myself of all the times he was with me texting and messaging other girls that weren't supposed to come before me. I'll remember his attitude and how he never kissed me or showed affection towards me. And I definitely won't forget discovering 
all the mean and hurtful things he said about me to his friends and exes. Someone who values their relationship would never do that. Oh my god, and then the last entry is... Life is going really well for you right now. Even though you're no longer with beep anymore, you found a certain kind of joy and pride in being single. I really don't need a man to be happy anymore. Oh my god, that's such a great place to end. Like seriously y'all, that's a really great place to end. Like, amen. Thank you Jesus for making me realize that. So that was my video about an ex-boyfriend. I hope you guys liked it. And give this video a thumbs up if you guys like these kind of more personal videos. I'll definitely do more if you guys like them. And subscribe if you're not already. And mwah, big kiss. I love you guys. And don't listen to negative Marissa. She, she's a bitter person. <laughs> okay, bye guys.